the first subsidy is gone. First subsidy is gone, and believe me, a lot of things is going to change. The removal of the first subsidy is going to affect a lot of sectors in the Nigerian economy, of which real estate is not an exemption. So in this video, we'll be looking at how the removal of the first subsidy is going to affect the real estate market. In case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Chris Asaka. I'm your favorite protocol based real estate consultant. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to our channel. We celebrate you. And if you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell notification to be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up. Now, how is the removal of the first subsidy going to affect the real estate market of Nigeria? You want to know that? Stay tuned to the end of this video. The first rate is going to affect the real estate market in Nigeria. Is there's going to be an increase in the cost of construction from the cost of building building materials to the cost of labor there's going to be an increase in the cost of everything because the laborers are going to demand for more wages because there is increase in the price of goods and services there is going to be an increase in the price of food and in the price of transporting themselves down to the site there's going to be an increase in the price of all of this and laborers will ask for more wages and there is also going to be a hike in the price of building materials because it is going to cost more money to transport this building material down to the shop so there's going to be a hike in the price of building material which will also lead to an increase in the cost of constructing a building in nigeria the next way the removal of first subsidy is going to affect the real estate market negatively is it is going to cause reduce affordability a lot of people can no longer afford these houses because houses will no longer be as affordable as it used to be before the price of houses is going to increase and this will reduce the demand for houses because developers will be skeptical if they go ahead if they go all in to build if they are still going to sell their property at a profit so this is going to cause a decrease in the number of properties that is being built but despite the removal of first subsidy that is going to cause an increase in the price of construction a lot of developers will still go ahead to build and if they go ahead to build what is going to happen is it going to lead to the next point which i will mention it is going to lead to an increase in the rent of properties and also those that want to sell will also be selling at a higher price because you don't expect a developer to spend millions to build the house and he will rent it at the same price that he used to rent when they were building at a cheaper price so the increase in the construction price is going to also lead to an increase in the rent of properties next is the removal of first subsidy is going to cause an increase in the price of properties real estate companies that sell land and those that also sell already built apartments they are going to start reviewing their prices any time from now so if i were you i think i'm going to rush to buy what i want to buy because any time from now real estate companies will start reviewing their prices because these real estate companies they have staff they have workers that are being affected by the removal of first subsidy and they need to increase wages of their staff and their workers and whatever increment they are making it is also going to affect the price of whatever they are selling to the public so in no distant time you will see that most real estate companies will start reviewing the price of their properties in order to meet up with the present reality of the removal of the first subsidy the next is there's going to be an increase in the demand for properties in the urban areas for instance before now somebody can be working in GRA protocols why he is living in Allah, but now it is going to be extremely difficult for such kind of persons commuting every day from Allah to GRA will be very very difficult so this is going to lead to an increase in the demand for properties in the urban area because people would like to move closer to where 
they are working. The next is there's going to be an increase in the demand for houses with alternative energy like solar energy because people are most likely going to cut down on the use of well to focus on alternative energy. So this is going to be an opportunity for real estate developers to start building smart houses because more people will now prefer to go for smart houses because it will be more economical to live in a smart house that use solar energy than using a house where you're going to be running petrol gen for 24 hours so people are most likely going to go for all these smart houses so there will be increase in the demand for smart houses because of the removal of the fuel subsidy. The next is real estate developers are most likely going to make less profit as a result of the removal of the fuel subsidy. Like I said before, the removal of this fuel subsidy is most likely going to reduce the demand for houses. And if there is less demand for houses as a result of the removal of the fuel subsidy, real estate developers are most likely going to make less profit because every developer wants to sell. If they develop their goal is to sell and if there is less demand they are most likely going to come down with their price in order to encourage people to buy so there is most likely going to be less profits for real estate developers because of the removal of the first subsidy the next is development fee for most of this estate is going to be reviewed because of course it is going to cost them more money now that the first subsidy have been removed this is going to cost them more money to put in these infrastructures that they promised in each of the estates so development living is most likely going to be reviewed by these real estate companies so they can meet up with their promise in portal tier most real estate companies they add the development levy to the price of the property but then there are some companies that don't add the development levy to the price of the property so if maybe you buy from a company that doesn't add the development levy to the price of the property and you have not paid your development fee till the price is reviewed then you are most likely going to pay higher if they told you that the development fee will be one million have it at the back of your mind that you may pay higher because the price is going to be revealed. The next is there's going to be an increase in the price of hotel accommodation and service apartments. If you're staying in a hotel or in a service apartment, of course, they're going to give you light 24 hours. And of course, giving you light 24 hours will cost them money because right now light is not stable in Nigeria. So for a hotel or a service apartment to give you light 24 hours and you'll be getting AC 24 hours it is going to cost them money and that will also lead to an increase in their prices hotel will now start charging higher and service apartment will now start charging higher so these are some of the ways that the removal of first subsidy is going to affect the real estate market in nigeria it is better you are informed you know what to expect so you know how to prepare ahead so it will not catch you unaware if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please support our channel by subscribing to this channel click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up till i come away next time i remain chris aseka